KCCFC made two first this month. The Yellow Lads became the first Ugandan side to reach the group stage of the Cup of Nations Cup. To do so, they had also to notch another first, which saw them become the first Ugandan side to eliminate an Egyptian team from the Continental Showpiece. KCCFC first team manager Mike Mtebi attributes the feats, the presence of belief that has previously not been the case. My bosses, when I told them, they didn't believe that could be done because of the psychology, the mindset that uh, we have always played one match and, and, mm, and people are satisfied with that. But as we continue progressing, we started believing the whole setup, institution, the management and the players. For me, the players come first. So when the players believe and do it, now they have done it. Mutebi has urged his players to show that they are part of African club football scream. Now we have, we have given ourselves a problem, a good challenge, that we have got in the group stages, we must be competitive. You wouldn't like us to go there and mark time. We must go, we go there and become very competitive and set the agenda and promote Ugandan football on the continent. Ahead of the draws for the group stage, Ntebi expressed his wish to avoid teams from the Maghreb region. We would not have liked to play teams from Maghreb, especially the way they handle themselves in as far as uh, match officiation is concerned. By and large, the officiation on the continent has improved tremendously because things are on TV. The, 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 the referees know they have a lot at stake. If they mismanage matches, they're going to lose their badges, you know. The Yellow Lads ended up drawing first Labat of Morocco, the Club Africain of Tunisia, and Livers United of Nigeria. KCCFC has already played Angolan, South African, and Egyptian opposition this season. Mutebi believes such experiences can only serve to make his charges battle hardened. Sam Koza, NTV Sport.